are now tuned in to the real news behind the news, bringing truth to light and exposing the deception behind the mainstream media while matching headlines with the prophecy of the scriptures. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your boy Rod Thomas Jr. And this is the real news behind the news. Are going to be victims. In the movie The Terminator, you got to realize artificial intelligence is looking at human beings as the curse upon the earth. In other words, artificial intelligence is starting to think now and rationalize things, understand and formulate conclusions. Artificial intelligence is thinking. And like just matter of fact, you had one of the uh, former CEOs of Google who said that robots and artificial intelligence are looking at human beings as we are scum. To the artificial intelligence um, network, they're saying that humans are the virus. And in order for the earth to be at peace and everything be in perfect harmony again, humans have to be uh, eliminated. This is why you're starting to see, pay attention, y'all. I know we caught up on what goes on in our local neighborhoods every, God damn. Every day we, we caught up on what goes on in our local neighborhoods every day. We don't think about the bigger world, but guess what's starting to happen in your local neighborhoods? They're starting to put uh, robots into your motherfucking restaurants. They got chat GPT now that is able to Help your sons and daughters cheat on their college exams or just on their high school tests. You got AI that's writing books. People that's, I mean, artificial intelligence is going to be the greatest threat to mankind, I think, second to nuclear war, probably before nuclear war, because artificial intelligence has the ability, again, to think, rationalize, and formulate on computers, but by it being a computer based um, um, life form, don't you realize they can seize control? Artificial intelligence will one day be able to seize control of nations' weapons systems? Because it's all based, god damn, I got all this shit flying out of my mouth, ain't nobody tell me. Anyway, now in the book of Revelation, uh, I think it was chapter 16, chapter 13, chapter 13, well either way, go, go back to Revelation or just Google it. When he say he, you had a, a, a leader who, and at that time in his last days, there was going to be a beast that rises up. And he said there's going to be a, ba- a man who gives power to the beast, which gave life to the beast and allowed the beast to speak. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to end this video. The one thing that makes this generation the only generation in human history able to fulfill all the scriptures, whether it be Christian, Muslim, Hindu, the Jew, the only thing that was lacking and up until to now was the technology. They have given power to a beast. Now, I could be wrong in my interpretation of the scriptures, but they have given power to a beast, or artificial intelligence, y'all. Something that is able to think now and outthink us and is now looking at us as a virus that needs to be cured on the earth. So again, is your job going to be replaced in the next 10, 15 years by artificial intelligence? Do y'all realize there's a reason why Tesla is creating these uh, self-driving vehicles? They can replace a lot of uh, shipping and, and um, you know shipping, stuff like that with these autonomous driving vehicles. You got McDonald's and all your restaurants now going to automated um, 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 uh, fr- facilities, whereas you might not need but one person in that facility and robots do the rest. Well, of course, in your factories, in your main uh, corporate settings, they're using robots. Human beings are being replaced. Human beings are being replaced. Will your job be safe? You know? Will your job be safe? Is artificial intelligence that beast that the book of Revelation spoke about? 
Y'all stay tuned. Everything that I do from this point on, y'all, though, everything that I do from this point on, we're going to put it in another format. Well, I'm not going to do it live, but I'm going to upload it with my intro and all that. Y'all give me a second. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to um, keep bringing y'all the real new behind new, but we're going to do it in a format where that this platform will pay for itself. Also, if y'all like what we're doing, hey, hit them stars. If y'all like the all right. Y'all be blessed.